welcome to another vlog. It is almost 8.30. I have a hair appointment at 9 a.m. So I'm gonna run out the door. This is what I'm wearing today. I'm gonna think I'm gonna run to Target, show you guys some baby stuff, show you stuff from the Nordstrom sale, show you lots of things you've been asking about. So let's go. Okay, I'm done with my hair. Hold up to Target, where else? I'm about to go in and get some baby stuff, but I just wanted to show you what my hair looks like. Don't have extensions in, so it's probably looking a lot thinner, but this is all I've got without them. And it is a little more highlighted, but I still wanted to show like the brown throughout, so that's what I went with. I'm gonna run in, go to the bathroom, and get some baby stuff. couple hours from Target and my hair appointment and I had lunch and then I laid on the couch because I'm just so tired today I didn't get a lot of sleep last night and I really wanted to stay up all night and finish the video I'm posting tomorrow which will be which will be the video right before this one but the fact that I'm pregnant I just feel really bad when I don't have enough sleep because I feel like that affects him too so I kind of stopped like the staying up all night working on videos thing I used to do all the time but I'm gonna show you what I got at Target um and the nursery is half painted I'm gonna show that to you some baby stuff and I need to figure out what hair extensions, what shade I need because it is a little bit lighter. And I do want to go a little lighter than this, but I still want to have the brown in there as well. I just want it to be like multi-dimensional. Is that the word? It looks so thin without any hair extensions. I wish my hair was naturally thicker than it is, but can't have everything. So I need to figure that out too. The first thing is the Moby wrap. We don't have any wraps yet. And a lot of you guys said I should get a Solly baby wrap instead of a Moby wrap. So I guess I'll just have to see um, how that one looks online. But I might keep this. I might exchange it. I don't know yet. And then I did get a pack of these flannel blankets. And it was four of them for $10. Which I thought was a really good deal. Because I've seen a lot of them for like $30 for two. And so I wanted to pick those up. I know things like this are really handy to have around the house, to put down on things before you put the baby down, to put over the car seat, on the floor, whatever. So I wanted to make sure I have some extra blankets. I did get a couple of these Wubbanubs as well. So here's the first one. And then the other one is an elephant. I know a lot of people swear by these. I do have some pacifiers, but I didn't have any of the Wubbanubs. And another one of these because it was on sale for $3.48. I know I have some already, but for $3, I figured why not. And these pants, they were on sale three for $6.98, I believe. Yeah, so three pairs of pants for $7 is a good deal. And the last thing is another fitted sheet for the crib. I have one already, but of course one isn't enough, so I did get the stars. And everything from the Nordstrom anniversary sale is in this box, which by the way, the last video I posted is reorganizing this room. Here's a little sneak peek if you missed it, but that video is linked below. And I showed these on my Instagram, or I showed these leggings on my Instagram, so I'm gonna run through them really quickly in case you saw them over there. But these are the Zella leggings in the 7 8 length. They are a maternity legging, so you can see the belly band that goes all the way up. They have pockets on the side, and I literally love these. I'm gonna be wearing them for the rest of the day for sure. They suck you in, they're really comfortable. I feel like it always looks so dark when I film in here since the window's behind me, so I hope you guys don't mind and that you can actually see them, but they're just plain black. It's what they look like, nothing special, but everybody needs like a really good pair of leggings because 
I don't know about you, but I wear them all the time. And this is a small, so do not size up because it definitely has an oversized style to it. I probably am going to roll the cuffs on this. It has like really big pockets and then it has a slit on the side right here. Really, really cute, very practical. I obviously want a lot of things that are very fast to throw on and easy and comfortable for postpartum and for when I'm like extremely pregnant. I'm due in October, so I know it's going to be half super pregnant and half postpartum, uncomfortable and in pain <laughs> if I'm being extremely realistic. So that's why I want to have a lot of things like this that are just as practical as can be but this has i think five color options i just don't have a whole lot of things in this color of course i'm wearing a shirt that's like the same color but i know you know what i mean and this one is a barefoot dreams cardigan i don't have anything from this brand and people swear by it i did just order a baby blanket though while i was having my hair done haven't even touched the fabric yet wanted to do a real first impressions and wow, it honestly is softer than I even thought it would be, but people say that this stuff's really good quality, and I've always wanted a cardigan from Barefoot Dreams, so while they're on sale is obviously the time to get them. Here's what it looks like on me, the medium. It is a little long in the sleeves, but I will just roll it into a cuff. I don't care. Honestly, the fabric is insane. I wish I could describe it. It literally feels like real butter or something <laughs> like you're just a stick of butter that's what it feels like oh it does have pockets too i think there's three or four options for the color of this one i know there's a black one and a light gray a dark gray and then i think there's another one too but this is going to be so perfect for wearing at home literally like all day every day so this was a really good buy and i bought two pairs of shoes for myself and a pair of spanx leggings these are not a maternity leggings, so I'm going to try them on. I got a medium, and we'll see if those fit. And here's the first shoe, which how cute are these for fall? Okay, I got a nine. It said size up half a size. I'm going to put them on real quick and see if they actually fit. I think my feet are getting larger, which obviously that is so not ideal, but I know that's like a common pregnancy thing, that people's feet will permanently enlarge a size or half size from progesterone or some hormone all the things that are going on in there so i do feel the top without socks on i might have to get a nine and a half and i've literally never bought anything in a nine and a half even things that run small i don't know actually i'm gonna put socks on and walk around the house but these are literally the cutest so adorable you guys if you need a comfortable pair of shoes for fall those are it and then the last pair is Sperry boots and I did get these in a size 8 it said go with your full size I almost always get an eight and a half so I'll put these on real quick and let you know if they run true to size again I don't have socks on but I would say those are gonna work out really really well i'm about to put on these spanx leggings i really hope i can get into them they are super thick so i know the quality is going to be really good but this is a medium doesn't that look so tiny i think it's a medium right yeah okay let's see if i can fit into these again this is not a maternity legging but i've heard such good things about these for years they're like thousands of reviews and I was not about to spend like $100 on these full price. So I wanted to take advantage of the sale. I keep talking about the sale, but that's why I'm buying all these things. So yeah, I'm going to put these on and we will see how they look. I'm literally out of breath from getting these leggings on, but they do fit. They aren't as tight in the waist as I thought they'd be with a bump. So that's good, but I mostly bought these for postpartum. And I don't know if you could tell, but they have like a leatherette kind of look to them. So I plan on wearing these with like a longer sweater or a t-shirt that's longer with a cardigan. I just feel like for postpartum, this is going to be super ideal. I put on a boot so that way I could kind of show you like how I plan to style them. And they are a little long. I don't know if you can see the roll right there. If only I was like an inch or two 
taller they would be perfect but i'm gonna keep them i think these will be super handy to have on hand or super handy to have on hand i think it will be really nice to have these around is how i will end that clip now let's go see the baby room and i know this is going to be really bold for some of you so keep in mind the inspiration picture i shared with you and one of these last baby updates it's going to be a little bit different but really really cool so now that I prefaced that, here is what it's looking like, and the walls are blue, the wainscoting's blue. We still don't have an overhead light in here, so I really hope you can tell that this is like an off-white, bluish gray color. I shouldn't even say off-white. It's like a bluish gray color up there that will have wallpaper over it so you won't see that. And then all of this is blue. I wonder if I go over here if you can tell that it's blue. It's really not showing up nearly as blue as it is on camera, but I feel like the difference kind of helps you to see it. So obviously this is like extremely white. That shows like the difference, but it's blue. Okay, I wonder if I show it to you like this. There, that kind of show you, shows you the difference of what it truly looks like. So the wainscoting just needs some touch-ups and I don't know if we're starting um the wallpaper tonight or tomorrow but once that stuff's done we just have to put together furniture so after that it's gonna go really really fast we shouldn't have put the crib together right away but we couldn't help it so that's all wrapped up in plastic and the wallpapers in there on the bed but oh my gosh after the walls are done are when it's really really gonna start coming together I need to pick up the house a little bit and I'm gonna start working on this video and do the voiceover for the other video. But I wanted to show you our stroller and I'm waiting for one more thing for it, which will be really obvious when you see it. But I had a comparison with another stroller and I had these notes for myself while I was deciding like which stroller to get. So I want to share them with you guys because you know, I research a lot of things. I always wanna make sure that like I pick the right things for us and our lifestyle and all of that so i'm going to show this to you guys too here it is sitting in the middle of the living room right now because after his room's done i'm probably going to keep it in there until he's here or actually i'll probably put it downstairs but it's just sitting right here because we're waiting for the sun canopy fabric this was a back ordered item so it's going to be here sometime this week it might be here in an hour it might be here in two days i don't know but it will be here this week so after the sun canopy fabric is here it's done, but this is a bugaboo donkey. I've literally wanted a bugaboo donkey for a couple of years, like even before we were ready to start a family. I wanted a bugaboo donkey. I've just always known that like this is the stroller that I wanted because it can be for one baby, for two, it all opens up, or even for three with the, I don't know what it's called, like a slider board, skateboard, something like that on the back and i love the side luggage basket that's what this is called so this has a cover on it it can be taken off or i can unzip it and people put their diaper bag here they put their groceries here handbag here whatever you want to put and i also really like that the frame is the same frame for the bassinet as the seat fabric so it does come with a seat fabric as well that's not like a separate purchase it comes with a rain cover there's a basket on the bottom. I'm sure you guys have probably seen this if you're a mom or pregnant. It is a fairly popular stroller. And I know the other stroller that's really popular right now is an Up A Baby Vista. So I was comparing like everything that has to do with the two of these. And a lot of people think the donkey is so much wider than it is. So it says right here it's 23.6 and the Vista is 25.7, so what is that, 24, 25? That is a two inch difference, and then the weight is very similar, 28.6 and 26.6. So because of the side luggage basket, it looks a lot wider than it is, but it fits through a standard size door, single or in the double mode as well, with a second seat, it still fits through a 30 inch, whatever a standard size door is. I think it's like 30 inches or 31 inches, something like that, so. Yeah, I'm really, really excited about it. And I'll show it to you again, of course, once the cover's on it or the sun canopy, I mean. And I can't wait to like show it to you guys with him in there. That's gonna be so crazy. I'm also going to get a Nuna Pippa car seat. I'm going to get the regular version, not the light version. And the regular because one, it's $100 less for two pounds difference. I feel like that's not that much money, or I'm sorry, it's not that much of a difference for $100 more. And also the light version, you have to use the, what do you call it? 
oh, whenever I'm filming, I can't think of these things. You have to use the base. And with the regular version, you don't have to use the base. So if you're traveling or you're in somebody else's car and you don't have the base, it's still safe and approved and all of that without the base. So yeah, those are the two reasons I want to get the regular instead of the light version. And I do have to get the adapters for it, which there are adapter adapters <laughs> that are compatible with the Bugaboo Donkey. So yeah, I get a lot of questions asking me like what products I'm using and want to use and all of that because you guys know I do my research. So <laughs> hopefully that helps some of you guys out. I know that like with baby products, they're so different for everybody. Some things work really well for some people that don't for other people. So that's just what we're planning on doing and using in my experience and all of that. But I am very excited about this stroller. I literally, like I said, have been looking at it and researching it for years. And I feel like I know like all the specs and stuff because I like to be very specific. So. Hopefully that helps you guys choose or at least helps you to narrow down what you're looking at. And let me know if you guys have used this stroller or if you've used the Nuna Pippa um, car seat. I'd love to hear what you think too. day after the next day I wanted to give you guys an update on my hair because I noticed it's fairly warm toned I don't know if you can tell probably but like here it's really warm so I'm trying to fix that and I bought this from not your mother's it's a blonde shampoo this one was only a little less than nine dollars but I just don't know that much about purple shampoo so if you have any tips or recommendations on what to do to make it so it isn't extremely warm toned. I would appreciate it, but I just put that in for a couple of minutes this morning when I was washing my hair and it didn't make that much of a difference. I'm hoping if I do it a couple times, it will help a lot. But yeah, I'm just really trying to fix the warm tones and make it so they are on the cool side or like a little more cool at least. And now I'm gonna start filming another video that is gonna be like shocking to a lot of you <laughs> if you watch my house cleaning videos. And then tonight we're going on a date, so I'm gonna get ready for that and I'll probably share um, a little bit of that in this video before I wrap it up for the next video. <laughs> we're starting the next video, but I wanna go on like real dates because we always just will get food when we're out and about and I wanna get like ready and go on a real date. So <laughs> we're gonna do that. And I keep telling you guys the next video is when you're going to see a huge difference in the baby's room. But I mean it this time because tomorrow we're putting the wallpaper up. We are finishing all of his trim. We are putting together his furniture. Um, the rest of his furniture will be here tomorrow. It's these bookshelves and his dresser has been here for forever but we haven't put it together because we want obviously like the walls done before we put furniture in there so i'm so excited for the next update video of the baby's room because you guys are gonna finally see it all start to come together i know like the last few it's just been smaller updates but the next one is gonna be major so keep an eye out for that and i'm gonna get to filming i'll put in a little bit from tonight and then that will probably be it for this vlog out of sight.